Hello and welcome to our Instagram Live. Very excited to see you joining us, whether live or watching the recording. Thank you so much for doing that. Today, we will talk about ways to fit volunteer work into your busy schedule. But in the meantime, feel free to introduce yourself and let us know where you are watching from. While we wait for more people to join us, I will introduce myself. My name is Sabrina Cadini. I'm a holistic precision life coach helping busy professionals live and work better by prioritizing themselves with customized lifestyle changes. And I'm director of coaching here at MANA, helping our users take control of the most valuable resource we have in the world, which is time and spend it better. If you're not a MANA user yet, we would love for you to try it. Our time tracking app uses machine learning technology to predict future behavior and integrations with a variety of applications to drive peak performance in individuals like you, teams and companies. And that's not all. MANA allows you to track how you spend all of your time in uh, with again as i said with diverse uh, variety of application and create goals see their progress stay motivated along the way together with one-on-one -on -one coaching the app also encourages self-awareness together with a reflection and journaling so that you can learn how to maximize your performance and avoid burnout if you'd like to check it out go to mana.ai forward slash download. You will find the link in our bio and you can install it on your computer and on your phone. And then you can schedule a session with one of our coaches to learn more about our tools and features. We have so many and I'm sure you will be amazed. I will also show you a quick tutorial on my uh, computer about the app in a few minutes. So stay tuned and keep watching. All right, so let's dive into our uh, topic for today, the, the broadcast today. Um, the topic, as I said, is how to fit volunteer work in your, into your busy schedule. We're all so busy and, of course, even though you would love to be more helpful to your favorite organization, sometimes it's not that possible, right? And we decided to um, talk about this topic because National Volunteer Week is celebrating during the third week of April, which is right now. And it's, opportun it's an opportunity to thank all the volunteers who provide assistance and services to help organizations run their programs and keep communities safe or to volunteer for different uh, charity and nonprofit organizations that are your top picks, maybe, right? You may be donating to a charity of your choice because you want to show your support, which is fantastic. Thank you for doing that. But when you're able to make a commitment to do volunteer work is even better. And if you're volunteering, you know the feeling. It's fulfilling, it's rewarding, it gives you a sense of purpose, it adds meaning to your life. Being around people and being helpful to them makes you feel happier. In my previous career as an event planner, I helped many nonprofit organizations plan and coordinate their fundraisers and galas because that was my expertise and I really enjoyed it. And I even made great friendships that I still cherish today. Unfortunately, as I said at the beginning, not many people are able to fit volunteering efforts into their busy schedule, although they would love to do that. And maybe you are one of them. However, there are different ways that you can still give back without disrupting your career or current lifestyle. And that's in part good time management. So here's an easy step-by-step -step process that we are sharing for you today. Step one, decide what type of volunteering you would like to do. What are your talents, your strengths, your skills? What can you bring to the table? Are you a teacher, maybe, or a product manager? Are you an expert in social media marketing or a financial advisor? 
think about how you can contribute to a cause or organization, what type of services you can provide. There are always a lot of roles available to fill in the nonprofit world, from tutoring to caregiving, administration, budgeting, and so on. Step two, decide how much time you can dedicate. Ask yourself when you have free time during the week, Saturdays and Sundays or Wednesdays, and then look at what time of the day you can take a break from your activities. Would it be early morning, um, lunchtime, maybe evening? Also, are you able to volunteer every week or maybe once a month? Would this be every week or every month indefinitely or during the summertime or when the kids go back to school in September? maybe during the holiday season. See, there are so many different questions that you should ask yourself to make sure that you can commit. And after that, think about how many hours you have available. And once you have a clear idea about your commitment, block that time on your calendar to make it official and to make sure that you will not forget about it. Now, very important, make sure that you're not over committing. If you already have a demanding job and a family, they need your attention too, of course. Decide to volunteer only if you have the time to dedicate without sacrificing important things. And it doesn't have to be an entire day of volunteering. You can just do one hour every now and then and still reap the benefits because it still feels amazing and it still is helpful to that organization. Step three, pick your favorite organization. Once you know how you can help, search for organizations that are looking for people like you. Visit their websites to know more about what they do and see if their vision and mission align with your own values and ideals. And if they do, we have a match. Contact them and ask about their volunteer work opportunities. Step four, be creative with your volunteer efforts. This means that you don't have to necessarily go to a physical location and be there to help in person. This is what many people don't think it is possible. And so they say, well, I don't have an entire day to dedicate. You don't have to, right? So there may be virtual or remote opportunities available to help. Tutoring, Mentoring can be perfect for this option as well as, I don't know, web design or social media marketing, etc. You can do it from the comfort of your home or office or home office. And you don't have to drive, you don't have to commute. You can just dedicate the time that you have whenever you have it. Some nonprofit, uh, some nonprofit organizations even offer walk-in opportunities especially during the holidays where you could help serve meals to the homeless. There are different websites uh, such as Volunteer Match at volunteermatch.org that can help you find virtual and remote volunteer opportunities that fit within your interests, talents and availability. Now, it would be wonderful if you could create a goal about your volunteer efforts and to measure your progress. You may discover that you put in eight volunteer hours last month and this allowed you to deliver 60 meals and gifts to patients at a local hospital, for instance, right? Wouldn't it make you feel amazing? This gives you excellent insights about your efforts and it might be helpful for the organization to know as well. Now, our app, MANA, can help you create goals of any type. In the case of today's topic, volunteer work, you can set a goal for a number of hours every week or every month to dedicate to your volunteer project and then track it and quantify the results of your commitment. Now, I will go to my computer here, so let me go to the app and I will show you how you can create a goal in the app, which is so easy to do. So let's 
me switch the camera. All right, so you should see my screen. I'm just using my hand to hold the phone so I hope it's not too wiggly. <laughs> so here it is um, with the home screen. And if you go to the goal icon, which is at the bottom at the app, you can see my goals. I have two goals for this uh, period of time. And you can also create a new one. So let's pretend we are creating a goal for volunteering. So you will click on the button and here you will select a, a um, an element. So let's first search if there is anything about volunteering. So I will do a quick search and see if there's anything. There's no volunteering. So we will just create one. And here I will put, uh, I don't know, volunteering. And then you can also uh, specify the type of organization. And we'll select an emoji. And maybe let's do something like, um, I don't know, is there like a, a heart shape? Or I don't know, something that we're very happy about. Like, yay, we're so happy about volunteering right at this point we will decide where we want to put it so maybe it could be in the growth category i think it will be very fulfilling for me definitely so i will just select the category where i want to put the element and i will create the element at this point the app takes me to a page or not <laughs> let's go back here and let's go back here. So let me go back to the volunteering element, which should be there. There it is. So here is the page that allows you to create a goal in the app. And we use the SMART criteria to make it uh, easy uh, and uh, achievable. Because again, the more details you give to this goal, the more likely you will be able to achieve it and complete it. So here the app will allow you to select how many hours you want to dedicate. So let's do exactly one hour per week, something like that. And as I said before, you should ask yourself which days of the week you can do that. So I would probably select uh, Fridays that are, I don't know, it could be a good day for me to work on that goal. So it will be exactly one hour every week on Fridays, starting maybe next week and ending next month. I don't know, we're just making this up. The app is also asking why is this goal is important to you? And so here you will have an opportunity to write down some thoughts and do a little bit of reflection. You want to help others, you want to be more useful to the community, you want to meet new people with the same interests, whatever you feel this goal is relevant to your mission, to your vision, to your goals, to your values. And then how are you going to achieve this? And so here you will decide what steps you will take. You will put the time on your calendar. You will put reminders on your phone. You will have an accountability partner, maybe going with you to the organization to volunteer and have a, a volunteer body, something like that, right? And keep track of it, of course. So every time that you track volunteering so basically this element into the app the app will track it and so as you can see here i didn't track any time for these two goals this week so the wheel here has no color but if i go back to my past goals you can see that the wheels had different colors these ones ended when i didn't track for a while and so the, the red meant well you didn't invest enough time the yellow was, yes, that's a good effort, but you're very close. You didn't achieve the goal yet. And the green would be, yes, you did amazing. You completed your goal, which is so fulfilling. So this is fantastic, I think, because again, you can create, first of all, any type of goal that you like in the app. And anytime you track the element with that particular word, the app will tell you how many hours you will spend. And then at the end of the week, you can just go to the reflect page and you will see exactly 
how many hours, how many minutes you invested, and then you can reflect on that. We'll have more videos that show you the reflect page and the um, journaling tool to allow you to really trends in and really record your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, how you felt about a particular element. And then you can see the history of that. You can see trends and patterns and really identify if there's anything that you would like to change, time that you would like to spend in a different way and so on. This app is fantastic. It's really amazing. <laughs> Let me know if you have any questions regarding the topic for today, volunteering, or about our app, MANA, and its tools. I'm here to help as always. I'll wait for a few seconds while you type your questions in the comment box. In the meantime, I would like to remind you that we are on social media. We're here at MANA Hours. We're on Twitter at MANA Hours. We're on, on LinkedIn at MANA.ai. We are on YouTube, we have our own channel. So feel free to follow us on any social media uh, channel that you are present to follow our videos and to stay updated uh, with our content. And if you'd like to try our app, of course, go to mana.ai forward slash download. You'll find the link in our bio so that you can install it on your phone on your computer, and then you can schedule an onboarding session or a goal review session with one of our coaches to take full advantage of our tools. Thank you so much for watching the video and we will see you in a few weeks with another live broadcast. Make sure you leave a comment of topics that you would like us to share with you during these live broadcasts. It will be our utmost pleasure to do that. Thank you again. Have a great rest of your day and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.